Hi, my name is Corp and welcome to another 15 minute doodle challenge. Uh, the plan is I'm going to show you how to draw something. It'll only take 15 minutes and the challenge is for you to see if you can do the same or better. OK, I like to keep it really simple. So we're just going to use a Sharpie and a fine liner pen. No pencils involved in today's uh, drawing. So go and grab that. We'll set ourselves 15 minutes and then we're going to draw a zombie today. OK, so um, yeah, start with that fat pen and let's go. First thing we're going to do right in the center of our page let's draw three circles one over there one over there one over there and let's color those in and what we're going to do this is going to be the nose which is why we've gone right in the center of the page what we're going to do with this nose is we're going to join all those circles together with a, a little line going from there look just kind of coming in and back out again in and out like that Throw a little bit of colour into that centre. There's uh, a nose for our zombie. What we're going to do across the top lip is a what I call a floater. It's a, a line that doesn't really hit anything. It just kind of sits there on its, on its own. Flick off either end if you can so that we've got nice tapered ends. But don't worry if you can't do that. Uh, right, next thing we'll do, let's go around these two bottom bits. Now, as we get to the middle, we're just going to flick the pen down a little bit. So watch this again, just kind of flicking up. And then flick down like that. Go over it twice. I double line everything I do. Make the lines nice and wonky. There we go. So let's go and put in the eyebrows next. So what we're going to do is uh, just a little bit from up here. We're going to do like a, a, a swoosh. Uh, that's going to start around here. Go across and then down like that. Same kind of thing on the other side. Around there and then down like that. Uh, flicking off either end if you can if you can't flick off dots and dashes double line it make it nice and wonky we like a wonky line something like that they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical that'll be fine now let's go and put the eyeball in so with the eyeball we're going to come down from there go around like that same on the other side around like that it doesn't have to be circular i know it's an eyeball but it doesn't have to be circular it just has to be kind of wonky wonky is important because we're going to use those wonky bits to flick some lines out but but that looks that's looking great let's uh, let's just flick off a couple of little lines in there for some little wrinkles uh, that's quite nice yeah uh, now let's put some eyelids in so staying inside those eyes let's put in a little line going across you see how i'm double lining everything i do as i go along these eyelids got a slight curve to them uh, as well uh, and then let's finish off with a pupil I like the pupil just to be kind of sitting half behind the eyelid. I'm going to have the character looking over this side as well. And we'll see if we can draw a little fly or something weird over this side to make him look at that. OK, we're just concentrating on primary lines for the time being. So uh, just the fat lines. We're going to put in some thin lines later. There you go, a little bit around the top of the eyebrow there as well. Awesome. Right, we've got the eyes in. Let's go and put in a mouth. So with this mouth, just think of a massive, like, happy sausage shape. OK, so let's go for in here. Look. Happy sausage. You can see why I call it the happy sausage shape. Go around it twice, make it nice and wonky. Fat in areas, that kind of thing. Uh, that's good. Let's go and throw in a little tiny lip. So again, another floater of a line just there. And the same down the bottom here, look. Floater of a line. And then for the teeth, this is really my favourite way of drawing uh, teeth. OK, what we're going to do is just a line across. Let's go about, let's go about there, look. A line across like that somewhere in your mouth. You could leave it like that. It looks like a bit like a clown, like a grumpy clown at the moment. But I like putting some teeth in. So what we're going to do is a bouncy line across the top, bouncy line across the bottom of this line. So watch this. Look, one, two, three, four. That's a set of teeth. And then down the bottom, let's do the same kind of thing. Maybe let's bring it in a little bit, though, like, like this. One, two, three, four. OK, so there's our teeth. Let's double line those teeth. We might change the uh, length and maybe even knock out a tooth later, but for the time being, that's what we need. 
let's go and put the gums in now. So with the gums, look, we just flick a little line around there and then go diagonally out to the edge of the mouth. Same on this side, flick a little line out diagonally to the edge of the mouth. Down the bottom, flick a little line around the tooth, diagonally to the bottom. Flick a little line out diagonally to the bottom. Let's double line all of that as well. In fact, oh, it's a bit risky colouring in when you've only got 15 minutes, but let's colour in the back of this mouth. What's nice is when you do colour in, first of all, you haven't got to think too much about it. It gives your brain a little bit of breathing space. Um, but it also increases the contrast of your piece as well. So you get this nice big black area in your artwork, which uh, I just think looks really nice. How are we doing for time? We're five minutes in. Ten minutes to go. I think we're reasonably on track. The, you know, I don't practice these. I just come up with a quick sketch and then see how we go. That looks nice. Let's go and put in another little floater just there. Around the back of the mouth. One just there. Around the back of the mouth. Yeah, that's good. Right, okay, cheekbones next. Cheekbones, because everything else around the rest of the head is going to fall out of these cheekbones. So uh, let's go for this look. So from about here, let's have this cheekbone kind of going uh, around about there, out and in. It's quite high up, just there, but that's okay. Let's do another one, similar kind of space on the other side, just coming out, going back in, down again. Like that. that that will become a cheekbone also down the bottom let's put in a chin little kind of bucket shape for a chin there awesome right what that enables us to do is then we're going to grow from these cheekbones we're going to go over the top of the head we're going to give this character let's give it just a bald head so let's go from there look straight up all the way over until you land on the other side, on the other cheekbone. Look at that, great head, that one. Let's double line it, make that a nice wonky line. Might add some stitches and wrinkles and stuff like that in there later. Awesome, then underneath what we'll do is we'll start from the chin and we're just gonna flick a few lines up. We're just gonna keep on coming in like that, look. Flick a few lines up and then slowly get to the top or to the, uh, to the underside of the cheekbone, I should say. You're just working your way towards the top, but on the underside of the cheekbone. Double line all of that as well. Let's do the same or something similar on the other side. Fab. Last bit we're going to do with our fat pens, uh, and then we'll go to uh, our thin pens, is let's go and throw in some ears. So let's go just here that kind of running out of space on this side so I'm going to make the ear kind of fit the gap that we've got a bit bigger on that side uh, and then look at that little flick out like that knobbly bit for the inside of the ear then a little flick out like that okay let's finish off with a couple of wrinkles Across the top of the head there, dots and dashes around the edges, fat and wonky in the middle. Lovely stuff. Oh, look how way out of position I am. I'm really close to the top and over on this side. That doesn't matter. Go and grab your thin pen. Let's go and put some details in with the thin pen now. Let's uh, let's go and put some of the important shadows in first or the texture. So little lines inside the eyelid there. Let's go and do that. kind of like just adding shadows first and then figuring out what gaps I've got after the shadows are added. So there we go, that looks pretty decent. Let's go and throw in some shadows then. So wherever you'd expect to see some shadows, let's put some in the side of the head there, and then with some diagonal lines in. Underneath the cheekbone. Bottom of the ear. Maybe even inside the ear as well. Look, all we're doing is we're just outlining where the where we think the shadows would be, and then putting some 
diagonal lines inside that gap with our thin pen. Nice. Uh, what else should we do? Let's. I'm, I'm going to make the gums uh, a little bit more wet. So let's go and add some little drips, little U shapes. Look. Maybe attach the teeth a bit more with some little floater lines. Look. looking good I like to put a little bit of graining in the teeth so let's flick a few lines out in the teeth maybe even take a little chip out of one of the teeth look awesome stuff uh, more shadows let's go and put some more shadows in I think we're gonna see some around here some around here we're 11 minutes in we're doing great for time Little shadow across the bottom lip there. Kind of jumped into all those bits in the mouth without finishing off all the shadows, but it doesn't matter too much. Let's put some shadows in all of these little wrinkles that we've got. Look, so we're just again outlining where we expect the shadow to be, and then putting some diagonal lines in where the shadow is. Because we're using a thinner pen, it should should kind of work for us. Awesome. Eyebrows. Uh, I forgot to put some shadows under the eyebrows. Look, let's go and do that. Look, across there. You can be afford to be quite bold with these shadows. Just go for it. If it works out, just carry on doing it. If it doesn't work out, don't do it anymore. That is my general rule of thumb when it comes to drawing. Awesome. Right, let's take some tears out of this skin. So... With the uh, fine liner, we're just circling, putting some lines across. See how it just looks like a, a mole of different skin color or a little hole in the skin. Let's go and do that. Let's go around the eyes now. Remember I said earlier that we want to make those eyes look more like 50 pence pieces. The reason we do that is because now every time there's like a natural uh, bend in the eye what we can do is just add these extra little wrinkles around the eyes look how those eyes just now look a lot more attached just looks so much more better so you want to be when you're doing your wonky lines you want to be planning these bits in fab 13 minutes in what else can we do let's i think shading is good Let's go and have a little bit of fun now. Let's go and put some hair in on this character. Uh, let's just flick out a few lines like that. Not too much hair. Hair is a little bit overrated. Also, you'll see mine is like right up in the corner there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little frame that's going to kind of bring it down this side a little bit. So watch this. This is a real neat little technique of kind of centering your artwork. So let's go there and let's go there as well with a little frame double line that frame you see how that just brings everything down into this area uh, a little bit more um, let's go and put some ink splats so if ever I can't think of what to put in the background, I'll just throw in some ink splats. So again, use my fat pen, clump them together. So draw them in twos and threes, big, medium and small. Let's put some down here as well. It's looking good. What about some drips? Coming off there, coming off the ear, that kind of thing. Awesome stuff. Right, last 30 seconds. Go and grab your thin pen. Let's just chuck in couple of flies and I think we are just about done last thing I always say to my students is if you like what you've done sign it if you don't put somebody else's name on it 
Uh, and also sign it nice and big so everybody can see that you did it. There we go. I think that is a finish. He says whilst carrying on. I think... Uh, there we go. That is this week's 15 minute doodle. So uh, yeah, have a little go yourself. See how you get on. Uh, post it online. Uh, use the hashtag doodle with corpse so I can find it or just find me on Instagram or Facebook and uh, uh, and tag me in your creation. Right, well done. I'll see you next Saturday for another 15 minute doodle challenge.